Hello, MMTs. How are you? It's right now 8.05 a.m. and it's 5.23. And what are we looking for? Once again, we're looking for how they would in the bid and the ask, but what would they do? Capitulate the price to 5.85. And what would that look like? And, and what is that representation of that $600 price target? But let's take a look. We got the high of 608. 67 that's 8.67 ratio negative down what support this side of the trade we made plenty of these transactions we're on standby to buy this side of the calls of the 600s at a wholesale bid and we will we will and we have them way down there where those lower markets, but you have to capitulate, and this side of the market has to disappear electronically. They have to, what we call, create a high frequency flash in the bid and the ask. And if your order's down there with me, guess what? You'll get that entry. And the day is long from being over. We just are barely now into an one hour and 36 minutes of price action and we are going to take a look at what that price action looks like and I'm going to pull over our market maker application and I'm going to clearly show people these are 13 minute bars and they're diamonds that are diamond alerts SMF and it tracks which way the values of the overall interday ranges in price breakouts and price reversals what we're looking for is where that this selling had taken place and we're looking for this resistance that this diamond is above that diamond and they created that print and right now we're at 0 0.2 right here where my pointer is now if that goes towards 0 0.4 then this put side of the market works real well and it will and when we break that 600 delta line that is a very strong delta line and I can show you that when it does break it let's go over here and take a look at these these bottoms right here and let's take a look right here just at this portion of it yeah this right here see that reversal diamond high down here when we do break the lows we would be looking for almost 7 eighths delta down is about 585 and 22 pennies whenever that day comes as it will you can see the bid in the ass and how they're holding that 600 and that's this right here that's this that's this and what I will show you is just this piece of it here you go it's right here there's your diamond reversals and here's your robots high frequency going back up in ascending value D, D minus D plus half bar reversals making a market as a market maker and what does it do it takes all the emotion out of this bid and ask and as they have that reversal bar we're monitoring where these contracts closed at 1330 that's what the close was and the bid and the ask was 1110 by 1190 and that's at 610 put but you have a 13 minute reversal bar that's the update MMTs and not only that MMTs it's a way for you to understand the support levels and why it's here to comfort you so that you can make money and the, that way you know that whatever volatility happens in here he's got a two point five dollar ratio in that 13 minute and that's how the high frequency bot works see you can see the bid in the ask up here 60198 almost two dollars off of that bottom in this bar right here and that's called a 13 minute 
diamond alert but when you're going up against these diamonds these diamonds are going to be resistance and when they go he went straight right up there right to the penny where our price action line is where that diamond is and now he's developing a whip and that's almost a teeny contraction what is a teeny equal well let's take a look it equals one dollar and eleven pennies and you can see slide that bit but you can see that when these diamonds serve as one purpose price resistance it does take out the emotion because when this went into positive territory ascending D plus this does not like price once again MMT it's based on a Google 13 minute chart and how to define support and resistance within the high frequency low volume bid and ask spreads and sometimes these spreads get wide look at here price spread public price spread 58 cents now what does the public know what to do with that they don't because they don't know how to work those machines that is in the electronic tape called ECNs high frequency computing cycles yes but how do you verify it? this verifies it because when that bid this is our bid and ask trend ratio now when this goes lower in value that's why you sell down in price so when you're short you want this here current ratio to go towards 0, 04 and higher but you'll notice that right in here 0 by 2 by 4 when they print 4 he printed 5 look at the value go up when he prints 5 that's D plus and D minus when he prints three look at how it sells down and the bid in the ask as well when that go see but then he comes back and he buys the ask and that pops at the seven that's how you know that they're selling the bid and buying the ask in here and it takes out the emotion and it does it's a weak move it's got all these diamonds that it has to get up and close above it the body has to close above this diamond right here this middle diamond has to close above it it's at resistance it went up above it too but it came back down and this IR let me tell you you want this if if you're gonna go long you want this going toward 100 but if you're on the short side this has got to go to zero because that's when the prices really get weak like this right here down to this bottom and this is the 13 minute resistance reversal whoa what he do he popped that thing look at how he po popped the print see how he popped that to zero nine that's why the price went up see current trend ratio zero nine printed you got three pluses there that means it's stronger than weaker in the current bid and ask but it's electronic price script that is used in the electronic communication network systems that the exchanges use and the public is at mercy of these uh, mathematical pricing scripts that are computing cycles and it's not fair to you because it's not a fair playing field for people who want to be involved but we'll make it one for you yeah we'll show you how to beat them at their own game and how to establish the fact that this IRC you were just at 11 at printed 9 but when this gets stronger that ratio which is ours that means one thing that you go up but if it sells 0 06 up here see 0 09 by 0 06 when they sell this side and it goes down lower that means that they're going to get ready to cross the market and that's why and it doesn't lag price so I hope that I'm being helpful to my MMTs as a training video and help video for new market makers that join the school and or become one of our high frequency traders uh, will also provide the capital so that you can make a market in both directions it takes money to make money and you have to have a system to be successful so once again we really do feel for the people who have to make engagements in here in the bid and ask and how wide the price spreads get and how those electronic price scripts can create emotion in the general individual you know the individual has to deal with that and 
there, there's always an emotion when people have something involved in here. And when those prices get out of whack, well, you don't have to worry about this because if this is below 25, this doesn't go higher right here. When this falls in value and 06 goes back down towards 00, we'll see. But it's in a, it's in a mathematical script. You can take a look. And it's right, the involvement in the prices and in in each line is $1.11. And I can blow it up for you, MMT, just this part of it. So here, let's just have that. Let's get that part out, and I'll use my other info panel, which is all right here anyways. There's all my indexes. And down here in the info panel, which is very nice, I've got all my text alerts right there for the MMT market maker. And not only that, the MMT market maker has this very special system called market maker. And what this does, and I'll show you what it does, it tracks everything in the brain at one time. And they all mean the same. See, minus 3 eighths delta, and that's the price of our price. And we got lots of stops. Um, we know what 0, 04 and 44 4, here's Google. See, it's printing 0, 06. We know that if that 6 is going toward 10, then Google is strong. And there's the IR. I mean, I, I know everything I want to know. And it tells me what 25 means. Like I said, if you can't go above 25, you're, and you're not going to go higher in price. But you see, I can see everything that I want. I, I know exactly what they all mean. And they're, they're accurate as to what the prices are. And, and then, you know, negative deltas are shorts. And positive deltas, on, like Coinstar's got positive 1 and 3 eighths delta. And you will get the text alert here. And you can see everything you need to see, MMT, right here. You, you Look at how strong Netflix is. It's 81 here. And look at the 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 open the high and the low in our system it was negative 10 now it's printing positive one fourth delta and there was a wholesale transaction Netflix is strong today CMG it's 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 fairly decent Buffalo Wild Wings look at how strong that one is 84 85 so there are some positives and negatives in here but once again you want to be long when these are going in that mathematical equation you want to be short when these are going in this mathematical equation using shorting the equity and buying calls and puts but using the puts specifically and MMTs this is one of the most enjoy enjoyable things that we have for you because you're able to see everything that you're doing you don't have to have 10 charts open and looking at them you can tell then you can just go to your chart and say well why is Amazon that week whoa let me get over there maybe it's ready to have a turn it's negative a half a delta and that equals two dollars and twelve cents and eighty-eight pennies in our system. That's what it is. And it gives you text alerts right here. Amazon interday percent at below fifteen. That means that when that is when that is going below fifteen, that means that this thing is weak and it, and the short is working in Amazon. And here it is minus a half. And here's the price two twelve eighty-eight. So you can see lots of things. But let's go back here to this diamond bot. And here's this bottom. And this, these are 13-minute candles. But notice what we're looking for is where price resistance equals price contraction equals weakness. Then either the breakdown follows and or it bases and breaks higher to the next resistance level the story will be told as to when to buy these if we capitulate the bid and they drop that thing down out of nowhere like they love to do in weekly options expiration we've got to that these will race and break the highs and they'll get get up there to about seventeen and a half dollars on the 610 and the 605 put this thing races to Let's just call it 1170. You know, there's still movement here. Add a, add 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 three dollars on here, or wherever you bid and ask is wherever we get it at. Right now, on this 13 minute, he's having a problem during this time frame, and you can see how mathematical the teeny lines are: one, two, 
three and four down here at the bottom and one and two and three teenies right back up that's a pricing script mathematical where does it come from it comes from in here and how do the MMTs understand what side of the market to be on it's all about how these ratios work right now you got four reds and one green but look at here that's zero five if that goes toward that that means you're gonna break these lows so once again this is an MMT training video and BSI capital individuals it will also be a training video for you too